dear students, welcome back to our episode for the third secondary stage English language. Today we have a lot to introduce, but before we start, let me please introduce and welcome my dear colleague, Ms. Ramin. We're going to be together for today. Ms. Ramin, hello. Hello, Ms. Kamil. Thank you so much for this introduction. Dear students, welcome to a new episode of your English program and hope you enjoy today's episode and benefit from it. And I would like you, as we have always said, to be prepared with your stuff because today we are going to deal with a new unit. Today we have uh, a new unit called, in, uh, called Finding Work. We have a lot of vocabulary to introduce and some more exercises and also we have a lot of grammar to introduce today. Let's start together with the first part of our work. Ambitious. Determined to be successful or powerful. Ambitious yani tamuh. Applicant. Someone who has formally asked for a job, a place, at a college, etc., especially by writing a letter. CV. A document that describes your education and the jobs that you have done, used when you are trying to get a new job. Established. Established yani U.S.S. Describing a company, organization, etc., that has been in existence for a long time. Pharmacy. A store or a part of a store where medicines are prepared and sold. Sociable. Friendly, liking to be with other people. Well organized. Good at organizing the things you have to do. Achievement. Something important that you achieve, which means that you do. Fluent. Able to speak or write a language very well. Betalaka. Neighborhood. A small area of a town or the people who live there. Skill. An ability to do something well, especially because you have practiced it. Trainee. Someone who is being trained for a job. Al Mutadarrib. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C or D. It's important for nurses to get on with their patients. The hospital is looking for space, young people to train. Readable, searchable, sociable, or survivable. Of course, is looking for sociable. When they are applying for a job, some people start their space with personal dat details. Others put their qualifications first. Of course, you write your CV when you are apply for a job. Our school is very space. The staff and students are always on time and everyone know exactly what they have to do. Of course, they are very organized. Our family has a well space business. It was started by my grandfather in 1935. Attached, detached, talented, established. Established Yan Yu Assis Aoyunshi. I need some medicine. Is there a or an near here? Bakery, pharmacy, grocery, or embassy? Taban medicine, iba I need a pharmacy. You are the most space person I know. You never forget anything and you are never late. Well established, well organized. Well behaved, well dressed. In one done the adjectives in it tibtidi well mane gayit. Well organized yani murattab giddan aw munazam giddan. Well dressed yani muhandam fi shaklu. Labis kwayis masan law raih interview. Labis formal aw labis elegantly. Well organized munazam giddan. Well established yani shirka li hasabait. Al shirka di. Uh, بقالها مثلا سنين طويلة في الماركت 
وشركة محترمة well behaved معناها سلوكه حسن سلوكه حسن جدا My uncle was always space. He was always looking for a better job. Conscientious, jealous, envious, or ambitious. Of course, he was always ambitious. Tamuh لوجود وظيفة أحسن. The company received over 100 CVs from interested applicants, employers, bosses, managers. The right answer is applicants. My brother is more space than me. He gets on with everyone he meets. Ambitious, selfish, sociable, unreliable. Of course, it's more um, sociable. Tim has applied space joined the Navy. In, with, for, to. Tim has applied to join the Navy. He's a very good man. He always does his work perfectly, carelessly, lazily, or suddenly. Of course, very good man. Definitely he always does his work perfectly. Find the mistakes in each of the following sentences, then write them correctly. After a few years, he became very scornful at drawing. Of course, scornful is a negative word. He gets very skillful at drawing. How many jobs had you replied for before you were offered this one? Reply, Jani Irud. So when you applied for the job, you apply for a job. Mona has always been an ambiguous and hardworking manager. Of course, Mona has always been an ambitious, ambiguous, يعني حاجة مش مفهومة, لكن ambitious يعني طموح. Do you have any experiment of working with kids? Do you have any experience? They live in a wealthy motherhood of New York. Of course, this is wrong. They live in a wealthy district or neighborhood of New York. The intruder asked me difficult questions. I don't think I will get the job. The interviewer. الفرق بين الكلمتين طبعا واضح. Grammar. Direct and indirect speech. طبعا قبل ما نتكلم على direct and indirect speech نخلي بالنا as we said before إنه ال indirect speech we are going to change the form. We are going to change. إيه اللي هنغيره؟ هنغير ال sentence من برا اللي هو ال introductory verb زي says و tells. ولا هنغير السنتنس طبعا هنغير السنتنس من جوه وفي تشينجز كتير هنقولها مع بعض دلوقتي بليز فولو اس لان في تشينجينج في التنسز في تشينجينج في الادفيربس لكن اهم حاجه الانتروداكتيف فيرب اللي في الاول اللي هو سايز او تيلز او ساد او انفورم التنس بتاع الفيرب ده ما يتغيرش زي ما هو جاي زي ما بنحطه بالظبط يعني لو هو سايز ان ذا بريزنت فورم يفضل سايز ان ذا بريزنت فورم جاي لي ساد ان ذا باست فورم يتحط ساد ان ذا باست فورم الفيرب نفسه cannot be changed طب هل في تغيير بيختلف لو الفيرب ده كان present أو past؟ Yes, these are the changes that we're going to see in the coming slide. So please follow us, following us exactly with what we say. Ms. German and I are going to explain into more details how can we change all this together. Let's start with the first example. As we said, says is going to be says and says to is going to be tells. مش هنقول he says to me بل أفضل نقول tells. Shall will say to is changed into shall will tell he says to me i'm studying english طيب الجمله اللي قدامنا فيها الحاجات اللي لسه شارحينها دلوقتي مس كارولين لسه شارحاها انه الدايركت في شكل معين في كوما في سبيتش ماركس وفي جمله بتتقال جوه أول خطوة هبص عليها هبص على الفيرب التنس بتاع الفيرب اللي هو say أو says اللي في البداية أول تغيير هعمله إني لازم أشيل كل البونكتويشن الموجود يعني السبيتش ماركس والكوما دول لازم هشيلهم علشان أنا عايز أقول بالظبط اللي اتقال فوق اتقال إزاي تاني حاجة أخد بالي منها لو الفيرب الانتروداكتري فيرب اللي برا says في البريزنت هتفضل الجملة في نفس التنس بيفضل الزمن 
زي ما هو ما بغيروش يعني هو بيقول هنا I'm studying English احنا قلنا says to me هنستبدلها ب tells وقلنا هنحافظ على نفس الزمن يبقى he tells me وهو بيقول I am يبقى مش ممكن لما هاجي اعيد على لسان حد تاني هقول ان هو اللي ان انا اللي بقول لازم اقول هو اللي بيقول يبقى البرونون هنا هيتغير من I ل he he tells me he is studying English ونلاحظ تاني ان احنا ما غيرناش التنس وابقينا عليه زي ما هو في present continuous he says to me I play football well again he says to me is going to be changed so he tells me هشيل ال quotation او speech marks هحط بدلها that وهكمل in the same tense with no changes طبعا I تبقى he and then we change the tense to match the subject we're gonna say he plays football well and at the end of the sentence we'll put the full stop when the introductory verb is in the, in the past said 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 to told we change the tense of the direct statements as follows زي ما قلنا هيتغير التنس لو بره موجود ال introductory verb in the past هنغير التنسز كالاتي نخلي بالنا كويس قوي ال present simple is going to be past simple the present continuous past continuous the present perfect past perfect the past simple past perfect more changes are going to happen for the adverbs let's see the adverbs دول مهمين جدا لازم يتغيروا فدايما هنغير ال verb بتاعنا وهنغير ال sentence جوه يبقى لازم نغير الفيرب بتاعنا الادفيربس بتاعتنا الادفيربس بتاعتنا شكلها ايه هنشوفها دلوقتي مع بعض لو هنغير السنتنس بتاعتنا زي ما قلنا قبل كده في الباست يبقى لازم الكلمات دي تتغير لو ما اتغيرتش هننقص درجات لان كل كلمه بتتغير في الاندايركت سبيتش عليها جريد فاف وي فورجيت اني اوف ذيز اذا كان الفيرب او اذا كان الادفيرب بتاعنا او البنكتويشن كل حاجه من دول عليها نمر ليتس سي ذا كامينج اكزامبلز توجذر هو احنا كمان برده لازم نخلي بالنا انه لو لاحظنا في السلايد اللي فات بتاع التنسز انه كل التنسز كل التنسز اتغيرت اللي زيها بالظبط لكن الباست بتاعه يعني ما يبقاش عندي الجمله في الباست سمبل فاحطها في الباست كونتينيوس ولا باست بيرفكت كونتينيوس لا لو عندي جمله في البريزنت سمبل هحول للباست سمبل نفس نفس الشكل طب هي present continuous هحولها لل past continuous ال past perfect هو الوحيد اللي قبل two tenses يتحولوا له ال present perfect اتحول past perfect اما ال past simple كمان اتحول لل past perfect فاحنا مش بنغير بس ال, ال tense احنا بن, بنبقي على نوعه سواء هو continuous او simple لكن انا مش بغير بجيب اي tense كده من دماغي بشوف المقابل ليه في ال past ايه وبحطه Now go to the adverbs. Now, then, these, those, here, there, this, that, today, that day, tomorrow, the following day, or the next day, yesterday, the day before, last week, the week before. He told me that he had played football well the day before. Of course, this is an indirect speech. And I don't mean it's indirect, because there are no quotations, because there are no punctuation, with sentence fiha that. The direct speech is going to be, he said to me, I put the comma, I put the speech marks, I can study English today. I read the word that day into today. Full stop and then the speech marks. He told me that he could study English that day. He said to me, I am singing a song now. He told me that he was singing a song then. We don't change the tense if the introductory words include the following. Let's see this because this is important. لو عندي الكلمات دي ما بغيرش التنس حتى لو الverbs اللي موجودة في الأول في الباست مش في البريزنت برضو ما بغيرش التنس. Just now, a short time ago, a moment ago, 
or now لأن ده معناه أن الكلام لسه متقال فمش منطقي أن احنا نغير التنس بتاعه for example he said to me just now I finished studying my lesson he told me just now that he finished studying the lesson he said to me if I studied hard I would get higher marks he told me if she studied hard she would get higher marks with facts we don't change the tense back again important من الحاجات اللي ما بتتغيرش عندنا الفاكتس يعني مثلا لو التيتشر قالت the teacher said the earth moves around the sun ما ينفعش ابدا اغير التنس واقول the earth moved لانه واقع مش هيتغير وحقيقه وبالتالي هتبقى السنتنس بتاعتي the teacher said that the earth moves around the sun ما فيهاش اي تغيير لانه منطقي جدا الفاكتس مش ممكن هتتغير مش بس زي ما قلنا في البريزنت سيمبل للافعال اللي قبل كده لا كمان في الفاكتس ليتس سي مور اكزامبلز the teacher said that the earth moves around the sun the reported questions change questions from direct into indirect first we change said to into asked or wanted to know second with questions starting with helping verbs we use the linking words if or whether but if there is a wh question word we use it as a linking word يعني ايه الكلام يعني احنا دلوقتي لو عندنا question هنعمل ازاي هنوصل ما بينهم ازاي في السنتنسز استعملنا the word that عشان نوصل ما بين ال introductory verb الجزء الاولاني بتاع السنتنس والسنتنس بتاعتنا بالنسبه لل question هنعمل ايه عندنا حاجه من اثنين لو ال question بتاعي كان yes and no question يعني yes and no question يعني do does did will اي verb مش wh question هنستعمل if or whether عشان نوصل ما بين ال verb الاولاني او الجزء الاولاني من الجمله and the other part of the sentence لكن لو ال question بتاعي كان including wh wh يعني what where when why whose which وكل ال how how old how much how many and all these هبقي على ال question word مكانها وهكمل بقيه ال sentence with the same changes اللي احنا قلناها قبل كده ال changes ما بتتغيرش let's see the coming examples we change the question form into a positive statement subject plus verb he said to me are you a football player he asked me if I was a football player وهنا شلنا ال question mark وحطينا بدلها full stop وحولنا ال question لجملة لجملة مش بال question mark بتاعتها حتى ترتيب ال sentence بتاعنا خلينا ال subject الأول و ال verb following بعديه بالظبط نخلي بالنا من ترتيب الجملة بتاعتنا He said to me did you study English yesterday he asked me if I had studied English the day before. He said to me, will you play football tomorrow? He asked me if I would play football the next day. He said to me, what is your name? He asked me what my name was. Or, or he asked me about my name. يعني بغير من بعد كلمة what وهشيل كلمة what وهقول سألني على اسمي. مش لازم أقول سألني اسمي إيه. He asked me how old are you. He asked me how old I was or he asked me about my age. The indirect order. Two plus infinitive in the affirmative form. Not two plus infinitive in the negative form. Set to, ordered, or advised, or begged, or asked. ممكن أغير set to لأي من ال verbs دي على حسب معنى الجملة. فيها أمر هكتب ordered. فيها نصيحة هكتب advised. فيها نوع من التوسل هكتب begged. فيها سؤال هكتب asked. يعني أنا على أساس المعنى هغير ال verb بتاعي. For example, he said, clean the car, Ali. He ordered Ali to clean the car. حطينا ordered عشان ده أمر وبعد كلمة علي طبعا he ordered مين لازم يكون في شخص فهكتب he ordered علي وبعدين clean infinitive هعمل ايه to change it هحط to plus the verb in the infinitive form he said to me write the letter he asked me 
to write the letter. He said to me, don't open the door. He begged me not to open the door. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C or D. She told me that she, space, TV then, watched, is watching, had watched or was watching. She told me that in the past, she was watching TV then. She was watching TV then. I told the professor I spaced the following lecture. Didn't attend, won't attend, wouldn't attend, hadn't attended. I told the professor I wouldn't attend the following lecture. He has just said that space very soon. Will he leave? He would leave? He will leave? Or he had left? Of course, he has just said that he will leave. ما ينفعش will he لأن دي شكلها سؤال الverb في الأول. He will leave لأنه very soon قلنا من الكلمات اللي بتعرفني إن الأكشن دي لسه اتقالت دلوقتي وبالتالي it's going to be in the present simple أو future أو whatever in في حاجة في present مش في past. He said to me the earth round itself moves, moves, had moved or is moving. طبعا دي فاكت كل الباست ما ينفعش يعني موف ما تنفعش هاد موف ما تنفعش وبالتالي the earth moves this is a fact the doctor said to me space meat not to eat to eat eating don't eat of course the right sentence or the answer is don't eat لأنه not to eat the صح في حالة لو أنا بتكلم على ال indirect. So the doctor said to me, don't eat meat. My father said to me, space your homework yet. Did you finish? You have finished? You finished? Or have you finished? Direct speech يبقى you have finished ما تنفعش. You finished ما تنفعش. يبقى فاضل اثنين. يا إما did you finish? You have you finished. طب أختار أني. Of course you have in the question the word yet. يبقى طبيعي it's going to be present perfect. Have you finished your homework yet? I asked the student why space absent the previous day. Was he? He was. Had he been? He had been. Of course, I asked the student why he had been absent the previous day. My father spaced me to finish my homework. Said, told, says, and said to, of course it's told, لأنه followed by me, كانت ممكن تبقى said, لكن ما تنفعش هنا ليه, مش هينفع أقول said me. و in direct speech, مش هينفع said to, يبقى لازم تبقى told. Find the mistakes in each of the following sentences, then write them correctly. Shahd asked me if I can reach that shelf. Shahd asked me if I could reach that shelf. He said to me, you will give me a lift tomorrow. He said to me, will you give me a lift tomorrow? The gardener advised the boys to not pick flowers. Kumla masbuta, lakin fi haga galat. What is it? Exactly. It's not, not to, and not the word to not. So they advised me, the boys, not to pick flowers. He said to me, where did you hit the ball? He said to me, where did you hide the ball? طبعا عندي did يبقى الverb اللي بعديها لازم هيجي في الinfinitive مش ممكن يكون جاي في الpast لأنه الpast بتاع hide hid فطالما حطيت did في السؤال لازم أرجع الverb تاني لشكله الأساسي والinfinitive form لازم نخلي بالنا دايما كمان يا مزرمين زي ما بنقول find the mistakes مش لازم تكون المستيك المتوقعة في الكلمة أو في spelling ممكن تكون في form of the verb ممكن تكون في structure نفسها ممكن تكون في punctuation يعني ممكن تكون في أي حاجة في so we have to be very careful while we're correcting the mistakes we read the sentence word for word until we see the mistake that we have She told me just now she had finished the project she told me just now she finished the project. Ali suggested to log on the internet. 
Ali suggested logging on the internet. After suggest, it has to be ING form. He wanted to know why did they keep staring at him. He wanted to know why they kept staring at him. She asked Ali if he is tired that day. She asked Ali if he was tired that day. He told me that if I invite him, he would visit me. Of course, we have to take care. Gumla maksuma into two parts. Main fashi ba goes if el present to goes if el past. So it's going to be. He told me that if I invited him, he would visit me. Second conditional, no changes, all in the past. He warned me to leave the heater on at night. Of course, this is a wrong sentence in meaning, so he warned me not to leave the heater on at night. Dibi akid lina tani, lama ben ul mistakes mish bas, naya mokin taba fi verb, la da mokin kaman fil man. My dear students, by that kind of explanation and exercises, we came to the end of our program. We enjoyed our episode with you today and hoping to see all of you next time together. We'll be having more of work to do. Dear students, hope, hope you have benefited from this episode and hope to see you soon next time. Wait for us. Thank bye you. Bye.